everyone. So this is the second video in the Your College Guide series. And the first one was all about getting in. And this one is how to survive and thrive when in the minority. So again, it's going to, all these videos are going to kind of be like a book club in the sense that I'm going to be kind of sharing some key facts in a more structured way from this book, You Chic, and it's the College Girls, the College Girls Guide to Everything. So um, there's a bunch of different authors, a bunch of different students that are going through the same thing that you went through and the same thing that I went through and just kind of finished college and are now sharing their tips and advice. So in addition to talking about little bits and pieces from the book, I'm going to also be putting in my two cents. So here we go. So essentially, when you start college, you are going to be a minority in the sense that you are now at the bottom of the food chain, you were a top dog senior in, in high school, and now you kind of just have to face the facts that you're now officially the bottom of the food chain. I'm sorry, I know it kind of stinks, but look at it this way, after you're done with freshman year, you will no longer ever have to be a freshman again, and that's a pretty good feeling. So we've all been through it, you all have to go through it, so it's not, it shouldn't be looked at as a bad thing because, you know, if you look at it in a bigger picture, every single freshman is a minority. So the biggest focus in this chapter is that you're not alone. You know, you may think, you yourself may think that you're in the minority because you feel new to the environment, you are meeting people for the first time, you're going to classes for the first time, and you're just new to the entire experience altogether. So, but if you really look at it, I mean, every other freshman is in your shoes. So, even though you may feel like a minority, you're really not because everybody else is feeling and experiencing the exact same thing that you are. So, the particular author of this section says that the first thing is not to panic. Um, she said to check out opportunities on campus, attend new student fairs and collect pamphlets, pamphlets, or go to the student life office on campus where you'll find a list of clubs and organizations. So that was something that I had to do whenever I first um, went to campus. And of course it can be really intimidating, so the best thing to kind of get over that fear is um, befriend your roommate. Uh, the roommate is usually the first person that you will meet unless you happen to meet someone in the elevator or like on the way going to places. Um, so if it is more comforting to kind of befriend someone before going to these club and organizations, then you know that would be the easiest thing. But if you are a little bit more outgoing, um, kind of take that first step, take that first initiative to realize that you know this is a new time in your life, a new chance to be different and kind of step out of the the role that you had when you were in high school. And if you want to kind of change or improve things, this is your time. So don't be afraid to kind of break out of your shell a little bit and go make that initiative. Um, it's even harder for people that transfer. I am friends with a kid who um, came to my school sophomore year, second semester. So as if it wasn't hard enough for him to come to school, you know, transferring over, he came the second year, the second semester. So it was like even harder for him, but he was a really out, he's a really outgoing person. But I remember sitting in the student government office and he just walked in and was like, I want to get involved. And I was like, all right, that is the attitude that you need. So um, we became friends and um, he like really just wanted to get involved. He kind of asked us like what to do around campus, what do students do whenever they're not in class, things like that. And um, you know, he just kind of was using other people as a resource to find out about things on campus. So even if you know you don't necessarily have the courage or want to kind of step out and you know join a club or something right as soon as you get on campus, talk to people, mingle, you know, meet other people that are in your classes or that are in your hallway or on your floor in your dorm room and your building and just kind of ask them you know what did, did you hear anything that's going on on campus like what clubs are you getting involved in and then you know some people will go in there having a sibling who's older or just know people that are in upper grades so they can sometimes give you um, 
some like words of the wise, I guess. But um, don't panic because again, everyone else is going through the exact same thing that you are. So use Facebook, utilize Facebook also. There's different groups. I'm sure that universities sometimes like purposely will group students that are all in the same year. I met a bunch of people th on Facebook before I even started college because as soon as you know that you're accepted and you get the acceptance letter, um, usually when you go on Facebook, they will already, like people will already be in the network of your university. So just like don't be afraid to friend people, you know, like it's kind of awkward afterwards, I guess, but like if you happen to be friends, like to actually become friends with the person and be like, oh, I'm actually already friends with you on Facebook, but everyone does it, so that whole being creepy thing like doesn't even apply because that's just how you make friends. So in addition to not panicking, the second thing is to just show up to these things. And the author says, which I agree with, as lame as it sounds to be the new kid in five different clubs, sometimes just showing up will demonstrate that you are really a serious person about making connections. Go somewhere and join something that is related to your religion or ethnic heritage or just your interests. So again, it really is a scary time because it's really hard to get over the fact that you're not a senior. You don't know everybody, you don't know everything in the school, you're not familiar with things, but it's really okay to feel that way. So another thing too is just to acceptance, like just be comfortable with yourself that you don't know everything, you don't know everybody, and kind of give yourself some time to, to just get used to that feeling. And then once you kind of overcome that, I think that the self-confidence just kind of kicks in whenever you are just really accepting that fact that you can't go into college knowing everything and knowing everybody because otherwise it wouldn't be the college experience and they would make high school last six, eight years, you know, and you would always be with the same people. But this is really time for you to just make new friends, meet new people, and just start a new chapter of your life and just kind of, you know, accept the fact that high school is over and that this is your time to just move on. So um, another key point too, the last point is to really just have faith. And um, the author here says, uh, when it comes to surviving and thriving, being yourself is the only thing to hold on to, which I completely agree. If your beliefs come under siege, have faith. Having faith is mandatory. People can try to threaten your beliefs through hurtful words, vandalism, or general meanness. I wish that I could say that never that never happens, but it does. However, no one can take away your beliefs and your sense of self-worth. End of story. So this is such an important thing is to not mold into the types of people that you see on college campus because there are so many different people that you shouldn't have to change who you are just to fit in because who's to say that, you know, it's not, it's not like high school, like people sometimes think that they have to change who they are just to fit in and become, you know, the leader or the top person or something, but who's to say that you won't meet other people that have the same interests and the same beliefs as you and then you can be the leader of that group. You know, like you should never have to feel lesser. You should never have to feel like you need to fit in because the truth of the matter is that college is different. There are so many more people on campus that if you don't click with someone, you know, just become casual, casual friends. Like I always tell my friends and I call them high bye friends that you, you know, I think it's really important to be friends with everyone, but you don't have to be best friends with them. You know, you see them in the hallway and you just say, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Talk, you know, mingle for a little bit and then just move on. You know, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to be best friends with this person. So just also keep that in mind that it's it's important to be friendly with everyone, but you don't necessarily have to be best friends with everybody. So don't think like you have to fit in. Don't think like you have to become someone that you're not because, you know, ultimately this is when you make lifetime friends. You know, as sad as it is, sometimes it's really hard to keep friends from high school forever, but a lot of people do say that, you know, the friends that you make in college are more than likely going to be the friends that you will be friends with even whenever you go to work and whenever you, you know, start your own life after college. So don't pretend to be something that you're not because then you're going to be stuck with that role and it's going to be harder to break out of that. You know, like if you were 
point, like if you were a certain type of person in high school and you wanted to break out and make new friends, but you kind of felt like you were being pressured or, you know, stuck in a certain group, now is your time. You know, like you finally broke out of that. You're now in a new environment, a new college area, new people, everything. So you don't want to get into that same trap again, you know, kind of learn from the mistakes. Um, Cause I know that it was really hard for me, like in middle school, I felt like I was kind of in a certain role. Um, and then it was, it was kind of difficult for me to, to break out of that and kind of make new friends whenever I switched uh, to high school and switched again to a different high school. Um, but you really just have to be yourself. And I know that sounds really cliche and a lot of people always think, you know, oh, that's the nerdy thing to do, or that's, that's this, or that's that, and the media, I feel like, stereotypes that in such a negative way, but it's really not, like, it's really not. You really just have to stay true to yourself, have faith, don't let other people push you around, don't let other people tell you what to do, and um, just, you know, be yourself, be yourself. And again, if there's, you know, certain things that you maybe wanted to kind of tweak, like be more outgoing, then, you know, make that be your new goal, especially now it's the new year, you know, now is the time to really change into the person that you want to be. So I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I'm going to be making a new video for the college, your college guide series every single Thursday. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's free and it's a way for you to find out whenever I have other videos too and if you do have any other requests for other types of videos they don't have to necessarily be about school or college this is the channel where um, I really just want to kind of like be here for you guys and if you have any questions you know don't hesitate to leave me a message and um, also you can follow me on Twitter and friend me on Facebook I have a, um, a like page so it will be down there as well and you can find out when I have like beauty videos for those of you that are interested in beauty. Um, I also have a blog where I have polls and a bunch of other fun stuff. So all the links will be down below. Don't forget to check them out. And of course, um, I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you need anything, leave me comments. I'm here to help you out and um, hopefully these videos are helping you. So talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.